12 News at 10, back with a story that's baffled people in Phoenix for more than two decades. If there were iPhones or Twitter back in 1997, the Phoenix lights would have been trending for weeks. It's a huge story back then and continues to raise eyebrows today as the focal point of a list of documentaries and books. This Wednesday marks the 22nd anniversary of the lights that were described as everything from extraterrestrial visitors to flare and secret government aircraft, even a hoax. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks spoke with a woman who witnessed and documented the Phoenix lights. People were seeing these lights that either seemed to be attached to something or had a force field in between because when they looked up, they blocked out the stars in between the light. Dr. Lynn Kitai reflecting on what she saw back on March 13th, 1997, a string of light shaped in a V hovering above the valley skies. Going through my mind, I was thinking, who are you? What are you? Do you know that I'm here? I'd love to meet you. For more than two decades now, countless explanations and claims have surfaced surrounding what she saw. I got it on 35 millimeter film. This is on, in the negative. It cannot be denied or to date, 22 years later, be explained. We're talking totally silent. At rooftop level, people watched these phenomena just glide right over their heads. Authorities have said the lights were flares used by the Air National Guard, but many still believe this was a signal from another life form. I saw these things up close and personal. They were not flares. The lights in the sky still a mystery to many. Some people can't deal with this topic. Some people don't want to, and that's okay. Lynn's mission is clear. She wants to make sure the world doesn't forget the Phoenix Lights. She even wrote a book, The Phoenix Lights, and produced an award-winning documentary of her sighting of floating orbs. People can make up their own mind. I'm not saying what these are. People that have an experience, a true paranormal experience, it's not a belief. It's a knowing. And as I tell everyone else, keep looking up. If you'd like to watch the Phoenix Lights documentary, a special screening will take place on March 17th at the Harkin Shea Theater. In Scottsdale, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.